Biden says that Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia in major speech from Poland. President Biden delivered a fiery message of freedom and democracy during a major speech Tuesday from Poland to mark the upcoming first anniversary of Russia's war in Ukraine. Driving the news, the speech on Tuesday in Warsaw came a day after his surprise visit to Kiev, a major sign of U.S. support for Ukraine. What he's saying, I have just come from a visit to Kiev, and I can report that Kiev stands strong. Kiev stands proud. It stands tall. And most importantly, it stands free, Biden said during the opening of his remarks. Referring to Russian President Vladimir Putin, who hours earlier delivered his own address, Biden said, a dictator bent on rebuilding an empire will never be able to ease the people's love of liberty. Brutality will never grind down the will of the free. In Ukraine, Ukraine will never be a victory for Russia. Never. One year after the bombs began to fall, Russian tanks rolled into Ukraine. Ukraine is still independent and free. From Kherson to Kiev, Ukrainian fighters have reclaimed their land, Biden said. Stand with us, we will stand with you. Let us move forward with faith and conviction and with an abiding commitment to be allies, not of darkness but of light, not of oppression but of liberation, not of captivity but, yes, of freedom, Biden said. Biden also discussed the security, humanitarian and economic assistance the U.S. and its allies have provided to Ukraine. Earlier in the speech, Biden reflected on the values he has noted in previous addresses over the last year. One year later we know the answers. Yes, we would stand up for sovereignty, and we did. Yes, we would stand up for the right of people to live free from aggression, and we did. And we would stand up for democracy, and we did. We continue to maintain the largest sanctions regime ever imposed in any country in history. Of note, Biden announced the U.S. will host a NATO summit next year celebrating 75 years of the alliance. He affirmed that the U.S. commitment to NATO and its Article 5 was rock solid. State of play, Biden held a bilateral meeting with Polish President Andrzej Duda ahead of his remarks, discussing their shared efforts to support Ukraine, impose consequences on Russia, and strengthen NATO, the White House said. Biden had been expected to address the larger contest between aggressors seeking to destroy fundamental principles and the nations seeking to uphold them, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said earlier Tuesday. It's a big moment, coming off the trip to Kiev, speaking to the people of Europe and speaking to the people of the world about America's commitments, about America's staying power, and about America's follow-through on the values and principles that we hold so dear.